Hi guys, this is AndroidPipe.com and I'm here with the game Angry Birds Action. I'm playing it on the Johnny Marathon M5 Plus and the game debuted a few weeks ago. It's available for free in the Play Store and it's related to the Angry Birds movie that should be in cinemas this week. It's basically pinball meets the classical Angry Birds. This time we're firing the birds like in a pinball machine. We have the trajectory all drawn out and we can collect coins, hit a lot of destructible items. We have a limited number of birds and we have to make good use of them because if we use them all, we will lose one energy meter and pretty much like in Candy Crush, we have to wait uh, several dozens of minutes till we get more or resort to our friends who will offer us extra lives. This is Bomb and we can also unlock Chuck, Terrence and the rest of the gang. We usually have to collect uh, or better said hit eggs, also hit candy and in this level we have to hit these TNT boxes, collect or hit four of them. We'll be influenced by this uh, wave of music or these fans. Pretty nice 3D graphics as you can see leaves are blowing around but still it's a pinball game first and foremost. We also have power ups like those here. Some of them will turn things into ice, which makes them easier to destroy. Others will make you more bouncy and others uh, will let you pass through walls. Okay, so we destroyed three of the boxes and when you destroy the last of them, you'll get a special slow motion animation that will show you that you've reached your goal. Here we go. And the level is done. Each level is divided into two or three sub-levels. And I have to say that the map of your progress feels very much like in Candy Crush, that's a certain resemblance, and at the end of the level you get three keys that you can use to unlock three boxes and get gold, uh, gems and power-ups. We progress here, we have the usual characters, we have Red, we have Terrence, we have Bomb and probably Chuck as well. The game has been in soft launch for a few months and we have unlocked the ice power-up, hooray! So let's see what's happening here, let's see what other things are involved. So we got settings. We got the inbox, we can connect to Facebook, we got Toons TV, and we can scan barcodes to get some extras. Here we can see the energy meter, where at uh, 2 out of 3 lightnings, if you lose all of them, you have to wait 15 minutes or more or ask for lives from your friends in order to progress. So let's see the next level. Just like in the typical Angry Birds, you have to get 3 stars to max out a level. Okay, so here we go again. So pinball, air hockey and classical Angry Birds, all of them meshed up together. This time we have uh, two sub-levels and the ice power, which I'm actually going to use, freeze objects in the blast zone, making them easier to smash. Since we have a rock in front of us, this is actually useful. And now I'm using red, who is much bouncier than bomb. There's a very nice splash damage area here. Let's say before, Rovio paid a lot of attention to details and to graphics in this title. So we have one out of three eggs. The second one will be very easy to get unless we totally botch this. Okay, almost got a third egg, but we have zero birds left, at least when it comes to red. And apparently, here he is again. We can reuse him. Now let's see how we will use the trajectory and speculate on that and very close to hitting the egg but not quite every once in a while you'll see planes flying by and dropping boxes that will help you in your task and incredibly I managed to miss the egg completely okay now I'm going to use this power up or maybe not and we're at zero birds again maybe one left here it's bomb's turn to save the day and Hopefully, he will actually get the job done. Nope. Let's try yet again. Okay, so we finally passed this first sub-level. Now we get to the second one, which seems a bit more complicated because there are more obstacles to hit in the road to the eggs or candy or whatever, depending on the level. I have to mention that in some of these uh, levels or sub-levels, the actual ricochet pattern is not exactly pretty well drawn, so it's more of a guessing game than anything else. Here we're going to actually have to use this uh, icing power to turn the wood into ice. Things that could make this game worse, well, a time limit, maybe. 
we don't have that so that's good well unless you count those lives as time limits here we go it's bomb's turn and i'm going to start at the top that was a very good hit we have the first egg and the second one should be easy to get So the game is intuitive, it's simple, the levels are quite short, we have some nifty graphics, but it's also repetitive, has that uh, energy meter limitation, and it feels lazy coming from Rovio, a company that has uh, millions or billions of dollars, and they could spend them on making a truly original game, not one that has a world map like Candy Crush, not one that has limitations, and not one that's basically just pinball. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.8 out of 10 here at AndroidPipe.com. Bye bye.